Hey everybody, Nick with VMX here, and I got a lot to do in this video. I got a GameCube collection update. I wanted to show you um, some other stuff I got for PlayStation 2. I wanted to show you some stuff that I bought online, and I wanted to do a movie review. So first off, let's just get to probably the main reason you clicked on this video, GameCube collection update. I only got three new games to show you, and they're actually kind of interesting. Um, because all three of these was really, all three of these were really cheap, but one of them you don't realize how cheap it is until you look at the side. It's kind of interesting how um, GameStop is and how they leave price stickers on them that were from other stores, and I actually have a kind of a story related to that. So let me show you what I got here. Um, first, I got this game that I never even heard of, and I don't even know if it's on my list. I might have to add it. This is Lotus Challenge for GameCube. Um, it's obviously a racing game. I just never heard of it and I'd never seen it before. And it was only five dollars, so I figured I'd better pick it up. I mean, after all, it is a GameCube game that I don't have. Of course, they had a bunch of generic GameCube games that I didn't have. But I chose to pick this one up simply because it was the first time I ever saw it. That doesn't necessarily mean it's rare, but it might be rare in my area. This is Midway Arcade Treasures 3. Um, I've actually been looking for Midway Arcade Treasures 1 and 2 because they had a lot of great arcade games that I've wanted to get. But for some reason, um, all I could find is 3. And this is interesting because this one interests me the least because it's literally only racing games. And there's not that many of them. You get Super Off-Road, Badlands, Race Driving, Stun Runner, San Francisco Rush 2049, and Off-Road Thunder. And, of course, the, the two games that it's most known for, San Francisco Rush, The Rock, Alcatraz Edition, and Hydra Thunder. Racing games are cool and everything, but I thought it was weird how the first two Midway Arcade Treasures had loads and loads of games, and there was a great variety, while in this one, for some reason, there's only a couple of games, and every single one of them is a racing game. So that's kind of weird. The third game I got here is MLS Extreme 2002, which is obviously an ESPN Sports um, soccer game. I also picked this one up, well, generally for two reasons. One, I mean, aside from the fact that I didn't have it, one is that I've never seen it before. So, once again, when I see something in the stores that I've never seen before, then um, I try to pick it up, especially since it may disappear. One game that I've been trying to get a copy of for the upcoming feature is Donkey Konga 2. And it's kind of funny because I used to see Donkey Konga 2 all the time in the stores. And I said, well, I'll pick that one up some other time because it's always going to be there because they have so many fucking copies of it. Now I can't find it anywhere. I was kind of taken aback when I saw this sticker. Why would an old sports game, a soccer game no less, from 2002 be twenty nine ninety nine? But that's not actually a prize sticker from GameStop. It's a price sticker from FYE, which I recognized. It actually only cost me two dollars. A dollar ninety nine. Kinda crazy, huh, that it says twenty nine ninety nine on the front, but then over here it says a dollar ninety nine. I had something funny actually happen when I was in FYE. I was looking through a bunch of games. For some reason all of a sudden they had GameCube games. Um, FYE had stopped selling GameCube games a while back. I went in there to see if they had any interesting PlayStation 2 or Xbox 360 or Wii games, and I actually found a couple of uh, GameCube games lying around, so I decided to look through them. And I did find something very interesting, NCAA College Football 2K3. Now, if you remember, if you've been watching these update videos, you remember that I got that one on eBay already, and I got it along with NCAA College Basketball 2K3, which is the rarest GameCube game of them all. I mainly bought that lot because I just wanted the basketball game because it's very rare. The football game is not common, but it's not rare. What's interesting though is FYE had two copies of it. One that was only for like $5 and the other that was like $35. So they got to get their shit together. I also bought a couple of PlayStation 2 games, mostly Final Fantasy games, because surprisingly I didn't have these. I only had burned copies of them that I could play on an emulator and the emulators didn't really work. I had burned them a long time ago when I planned to try and mod my PlayStation 2, but then I decided against it. So, really, basically, I haven't played them all that much. But this is the really interesting one, Final Fantasy XII. 
This is the collector's edition, which comes in a metal case, and for some reason it was only $12. So I thought I'd better pick that up, especially since even though I've played these two, I haven't played Final Fantasy XII. And everybody I've talked to, including people who are not big Final Fantasy fans, have told me that Final Fantasy XII is fucking awesome. As a matter of fact, it's my friend Joey's favorite Final Fantasy game, and he doesn't even like Japanese RPGs all that much. So I figure I'd better pick it up. It comes with a DVD that I guess has like making of features and such. And it's actually pretty cool to hold a, a game, a game uh, tin. I guess you can't even call it a box. That's actually kind of heavy and has some heft to it. You could probably throw some this at someone and probably fucking kill them with it if you threw it hard enough. For some reason, I find that amusing. Also, these came in the mail. These are the AVGN DVDs, Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. If you guys know, I'm a really big fan of Angry Video Game Nerd, and he's been a huge inspiration to me. Um, of course, um, I kind of get the, uh, the comments every once in a while from random people who say that I'm just ripping him off, which is not true. I was merely inspired by him, and we have similar vocabularies. But really, my main influence in creating comedy videos, like the commentaries I do, is not actually him, but it's actually Mystery Science Theater 3000. And that's the first time I've ever actually said that um, on YouTube. So I hope you guys find that interesting. I've always been influenced a lot by MST3K, and I see the videos that I do as being more similar to what they do than to what he did. But I am a big fan of his. I wanted to show you these. I bought the three-pack, and I've been meaning to get them for a long time. 